Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Titanium Taco here today with the in-depth analysis of the teaser trailer. We're gonna see um, shot by shot, basically, of the whole thing of the trailer. I don't know. So, obviously the trailer starts off with the six ninja, right? Putting on their hoods, you know. They look pretty nice, you know? We see all their suits. Um, Zane in this shot doesn't seem shiny. So what I'm noticing though in like a lot of these shots is Zane is like shiny at one point and then not shiny at one point. I'm not gonna lie. I love shiny Zane and I was sad that they didn't have shiny like shiny Zane like reflective shiny Zane. You, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But um, it's kind of weird because in some shots he's not like that and in some shots he is. It's whatever. But the trailer starts off with I already forgot what it starts off with the, like the a song by the fold i feel like i think it's the fold right it's like yo ninja go something like that right um i don't know if it's an already existing song that the fold has already released could be a new song because it is rumored that the fold will return for season 11 so it might be a new song uh might not be so let us continue on uh, of course, from the transition to from the Six Ninja, we get the land bounty, and of course, it appears that they're coming out of like potentially Samurai X Cave. Potentially Samurai X Cave. It might be the Samurai X Cave. It might be a, like a new headquarters cave type of thing, but it could be coming out of the Samurai X Cave. I'm also thinking that this is a different bounty from the regular Destiny's bounty. Like they made a land bounty and they still have the destiny's bounty or it might just be destiny's bounty but turned into a land bounty who knows and then we see obviously the pyro snake king man take away kai's firepower or like absorb kai's firepower so they could like get fire in their thingy majiggies i don't know but from the looks of it he's not golden before he has the fire he's like darker not gold but with that and then he you know he powers up he's all like fiery now now one of my little things that i don't like is inaccuracy with the sets in the show and um the snake king guy whatever his name is i don't remember this has the tail and in the set he has the ghost tail now i don't know i ho i'm hoping that they do put the ghost tail in the actual season but um, I'm a little disappointed that there's no actual snake tail in the sets. Instead, they use the ghost tail. But I mean, I don't know. But uh, they start off with, again, more pyro snakes. Awesome. And then the beetle. The six ninja are there. And uh, Cole obviously has his drink thing. I, f I don't know what they're called. And of course, they're just showing off Cole's bike. And then Spinjitsu. The Spinjitsu animation looks nice. I'm glad that Zane finally has that tornado again. Uh, I wasn't I wasn't a huge fan of like that ball upside down Spinjitsu. So I'm glad to see him use the tornado. And as you can see here as well, we Skull still has his earth punch powers. So that's that's cool to see return. Definitely a plus. Clutch powers. I have not watched the Clutch Powers movie. I, is it a movie? Right. It is a movie, right? I have not seen that. I probably should um, but I do remember clutch powers being like introduced or spoken of back way back in season one um, I, I didn't know who that was but uh, it's cool to see clutch powers in here I guess for all of the fans like clutch powers and um, definitely should take a look myself I should definitely watch the movie or whatever it was to like know this character more and then there's the pyramid fire comes out of it um, this scene here where the ninja are like dangling off I, I actually thought it was only like three ninja that were in that shot but it was actually all six of them like shackled i i, I didn't even notice the first time that they were shackled or that they had you know they were captured so all six ninja are there captured they're probably escaping from the pyro snakes jay almost falls into the lava nia almost kills another ninja <clears throat> um just kidding guys and so, and this is another shot where Zayn is like shining. But then we get Antonia, right? Antonia? That's, that's her name, right? I noticed her in the, like, 
the first time I watched it, but like, I don't know, I forgot who she was. And then Little Nelson was also here. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't remember if I noticed him the first, like, I don't know if I mentioned it in my reaction, but I did notice Little Nelson the first time around. Um, good to see him back. I like it. Um, and then in this shot, as we can see, mini snakes, like, we, okay, I'm going I'm to refer to this as the fiery great devourer and we get to see little mini fiery great devourers and in front of them we get to see gail gossip and the cameraman i forgot Vinny, right it was Vinny. we get to see Vinny and gail gossip walking with the snakes um for whatever reason interesting and then we get a closer shot of the king snake guy whatever i probably should know these names and then in this shot we get to see nia lloyd jay using his lightning power and kai and his 4x4 four four, katana 4x4 four four with some citizen it might be i don't i want to say that's cole's dad no i don't think that's cole's dad but kai is with some citizen then we can see cole there zayn in his helicopter and uh i don't know if it was the king snake that shot the fireball or i'm pretty sure it was the fiery great devourer that shot that fireball towards um yeah or maybe it was one of the smaller snakes that did that, that shot the fireball. And then obviously we see Pixel shooting some stuff. Um, more of those mini snakes. And then here's a scene where I'm assuming it's the ice dragon from the Forsaken Temple set versus the Fiery Great Devourer. And as we can see here, Lloyd is running. He kind of look, he kind of looks like the um, um, the officer. Officer, what, what's his name from? Um, Cloudy with the chance of meatballs. I forgot his name already, <laughs> but uh, he looks like that just the way he runs towards the the fight. Uh, here we see the ninja again, the pyro snake king guy. Uh, here we see Lloyd, uh, presumably using for forbidden spinjitsu because he's got like the scroll in his hand. Um, this shot looks cool, and at first glance, it seems like Lloyd is just shooting at nothing or like at the wall, but he actually shot it at the Oh, I think the first, the snake man, but I think he dodged it actually. I don't know. This, this shot happened like really quickly. So it was kind of hard to tell. And then we have Wu again, forbidden spinjitsu. He might be evil ish in this part, presumably because like the forbidden spinjitsu is a, it's a, a forbidden spinjitsu art. So it might gone to his head, maybe like turned him evil for like, not evil, but like gone into his head and you know got because not possessed but the power took control over him and that's why he attacked the ninja and so again we see again the spinjitsu every ninja doing spinjitsu and who's like dodging them like a boss here's another shot where we get to see cole and his scar again that's just showing that cole still has the scar and like the earth punch ability but um i want that as a figure you know cole with his new scar like his new face the face print with the scar uh, what's next? And then we see Wu again, blasting this energy on the ground, whatever. It might be his element of power. I like to see, I think the last time we saw Wu, like, powered, oh, not power, uses powers like this was back in season five with the, with his elemental dragon. And then we get to see young Wu and Garmadon. That's cool. And then we get to see the ninja come down this rope. And then Lloyd training, obviously. They got to start soft, small. And build their way up. I mean, I'm assuming this is like right after the whole you guys have been lazy and got a train now. And then we get the the chicken. The the chicken. I don't know the chicken. What the chicken is. Here we get to see the mech. Lloyd's mech. The snake is also there. Um their weapons look really cool and really well detailed. I like that. Um and then and then we get to see the Forsaken Emperor, presumably. And I'm assuming Zayn, this is who I'm saying Zayn will turn into. Um, theory on that tomorrow. Uh, then we see the ice dragon. That's pretty cool. And then here we get to see a shot of some, like, a frozen city. Um, from the looks of it, though, I can't see very well who exactly is frozen. But you can see some people are frozen in there. This might be, like, some lost city. And then here we have just the ninja piling up on each other. Zane ziplining to the beetle. Uh, Zane, uh, 
Lloyd giving the pyro snake a big smackaroo. And then obviously like a group shot of all the vehicles. Pretty epic. And then here we see them fighting in this like foresty Iceland. Jay shoots lightning and apparently Mia can't shoot out her water. Fairly interesting. And then as we can see here, um, they're, I think this would be their first attempt to fight back against the fire great devour, but now they're flying away. And but Zane's helicopter, and I'm assuming this is where like, yo, Zane, you know, you gotta do your thing. Again, theory on what I think Zane's role will be in season 11 tomorrow. But yeah, they, they escape, and then Lloyd is like, whoa, 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 with the sword, and Wu's there as well. And then boom, Ninjago 2019. So, that was my in-depth analysis. I, I, I guess my analysis on it. Uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, share this video with a friend, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!